Today, every car maker is striving to deliver greater value at lower costs. Inevitably, the impact of these challenges gets passed along from the automakers to their suppliers and in turn to their suppliers. So how can an automotive supplier maintain global leadership when everyone wants more for less? One answer can be found on the outskirts of Montreal, Canada. This is the home of DBM Reflex, a top supplier in the automotive lighting industry. DBM creates the molds used to make lenses of tail lights and reflectors. You can see the final product of their work on many top global brands from Audi to Volvo. DBM Reflex got its start almost 40 years ago by pioneering a better way to create molds called electroforming. It enables automotive lighting designers to incorporate more sophisticated tail lights and reflectors into their designs. But even with this competitive advantage, DBM Reflex has had to work hard to stay on top. For sure, there are two main issues that we're facing now is really the lead time and the cost. For sure, it's kind of directly linked to it. If it's taking more time, for sure, it's going to cost more. It was typically taking DBM Reflex about 14 weeks to create a production-ready mold. The process begins here in the design department, where DBM designers receive CAD files from customers, such as Valio, Sylvania. To provide extra value, the DBM designers use a proprietary software tool to optimize the designs for production. The optimized design data then gets sent to the method department. This group prepares the design data to drive the electroform and NC machines to create the molds. And that was DBM Reflex's biggest challenge. So the real issue at DBM was really that everybody was working in silos. So there was like the sales that were doing some stuff design that we're doing the design, meta that we're doing another design that they need, and programming entity that we're redoing the design, so nobody was talking together. This made the production manager's job especially difficult. Yes, yeah, since that guy is really, you know, he's the guy that's going to tell which guy to do which job on which machine, so we need to make sure that he's got the right information, the right program, the right tool list, the right PDF. So uh, some, Sunday it was maybe spending like two or three hours per day just to make sure that he's got the right information, the right data to put on all machines. So maybe you've got like six to seven machines to look at. Inevitably, errors occurred. Incorrectly milled pieces would have to be reworked or scrapped and valuable time would be wasted. With Winchill linking all the departments together, DBM Reflex could be sure that all process plans, manufacturing bills of materials, and work instructions would reflect the latest engineering design. For DBM Reflex, the key to the solution was Winchill's MPM Link module. Winchill MPM Link makes it possible for manufacturing process management to be done concurrently with engineering. It would be a huge, huge customization to do everything from scratch, and even with customization, I don't think there would be able to, to do something as Winchill is able to do with MPM Link. For DBM Reflex, the implementation of PLM with Windchill has had a significant impact. Shortened lead time and decreased costs have also resulted in increased production throughput. For sure, we know that we can handle much more molds now than we was before. I don't know what we're doing, maybe like to 50 to 60 molds uh, per year. Maybe right now we can handle to 70 to 80 per year, something like that. That's the goal that we were looking with PLM, and I think we're pretty near that kind of number. So we can say maybe like to 10 to 20 percent more molds. With these improvements, DBM Reflex is confident of a bright future in a very competitive business. If they want something really that's covered all their plan from design to manufacturing, this is the only solution that's going to work for you.